How to use Eventbrite for online events. In this video, we're going to be talking about Eventbrite and how you can use this incredible platform to create any type of online event for yourself. So to do this, what you're going to be doing is you're going to come over to eventbrite.com and from here on out, we're going to be signing ourselves up and creating our very own online event. Now, your online event could be of any type. It could be music, nightlife, performing in visual arts, Halloween, dating, hobbies, business, food and drink, and a whole lot more. So it goes on and on. And you can see all these online events that are available even right now. Okay. So basically, to start yourself off, what you're going to be doing is you're going to come over to sign up. Now, once we go over to sign up here, it's going to ask you for your email address. And that is exactly what we're going to be adding. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to add the email address and click on continue. Now, over here, you're simply going to confirm your email. OK, and we're simply going to go ahead and write in our email. OK. And once we have gone ahead and entered our email, what's going to happen from here is we're going to go ahead and enter all the other details that they have asked of us. And once we add all those, what's going to happen from there is we're going to go straight into the login portal. So simply add a password, make sure it's a good and strong password so you don't forget it. Now, once that is done, agree with their terms and click on create account. So once we have clicked on create account here, it says, welcome to Eventbrite. We're glad you're here. What can we help you with first? So it could be either finding an experience or organizing an event. So you can either go ahead and find an experience if you want to, you know, opt yourself for an online event, but we're here to organize an event. So I'm going to go over to plan your best event ever. Okay. Now, once we do that here, it says, let's get to know you first. Tell us what kind of events do you want to host and we'll help make it happen. So what kind of events do you host? We have comedy, food and drink, music, etc. I'm going to go with music. OK, and here it says, what's you know, which best describes your music organization? Are you a music pr a promoter, nightlife and parties, artist or performer, venue or festival? I'm going to go with artist or performer. And here it says, how many events do you plan to organize this year? I'm going to go with two to five events. And once we've done that, on average, how big are your events? I'm going to go with up to 25 people for now. What matters to you? Something budget friendly and easy to use to reach more people and keep them coming back or more customer support. I'm going to go with to reach more people and click on continue. Now here it says, we're excited to show you around. Now, would you like to create your first event right away or explore the homepage? I'm going to go to explore the homepage first so we can get an idea of what actually goes on in Eventbrite. So hey there, Sim, create your first event. You can either create faster with AI, which answers a few questions to generate an event that's ready to publish in minutes, or you can start from scratch. And we're going to be going through with both of these options. But before that, let's actually, you know, work around our way in Eventbrite. So here it says, you know, these are the analytics of the music events. So 40.3 million tickets sold for music events, 13.4 million people bought tickets and 5 million searches for music events. So it's pretty good niche. OK, you can get a lot of, um, you know, buyouts and sales for this. Now, over here on the left hand side, you can manage your events in one place as well. So basically, this takes you to the events page, the current events that you have. We have orders. So this is where you can see how many people actually opted for your event. So you can manage all the orders, including editing buyer info, resending tickets and processing all of your refunds. Now, here we also have marketing where you can actually market your organization or market your basic events that you have created. We're going to get into this in a few seconds as well. We have reporting and analytics and we also have finance. So, you know, moving everything aside, we're going to go over to our home page. And first of all, we're going to create an event. So let's go ahead and create a uh, create an event with an AI. OK, so what's the name of your event? Let's go with uh, Woodstock. OK, that is what I'm going to be writing. 
Now, once we do that, you're going to choose the date, choose the time. Where is it located? Is it an online event or is it just any other venue? So uh, this video is basically on how you can use Eventbrite for online events, right? So I'm going to go with online event. How much do you charge for a ticket? Let's go with $8, okay? Now, once you do that, what's the capacity? Let's go with 500, okay? Once we do that, we're going to click on create event. It says, thanks for giving us a spin. Give us a moment to, you know, scribble down all of your event details. Now, once everything is good to go and, uh, you know, all the things are set, you're simply going to wait for the AI to create the event for you. It shouldn't take you long, but in the case that the AI doesn't work, you can always go ahead and create the event from scratch by yourself. Okay. So once we're over here, simply go ahead. We're going to clear, create the event from scratch. Now, once you go over to create event from scratch, you're going to go ahead and load it up. So first of all, you're going to upload any photos or videos for the event. So I'm simply going to add some simple, you know, photos that I have for myself. Now, once we have added that, what we're going to do, you can add your very own video to it as well. Then we have the event title. Obviously, we chose Woodstock. And we have the summary. You can let people know what this event is really about. Um, you can also ask the AI to suggest you a summary. So pretty cool, right? Now we're going to scroll down. You're going to choose the location, date, and time as well. So is it a single event? Is it a recurring event that is dependent on you? So I'm going to go with the single event right now. Then we have date and time. We already chose that, so I'm going to keep it at that. I'm going to keep it an online event. Then once all of this is done, you can add your very own overview and FAQs as well. But once you have chosen all these events and, uh, you know, chosen all the correct settings, simply click on save and continue. And once you click on save and continue from there on out, what it's going to do is it's going to create a draft of your event. And once the draft is created, you're simply going to go ahead and click over here into publish event. Now, what that does is it's going to finish creating your event and finally publish it to the servers of Eventbrite for other people to actually see it and work around with it. Now, you can also go ahead and build event pages where you can add all of your event details and let attendees know what to expect. You can add your very own tickets, which can be fully customized if you want them to be, which is pretty cool. Then we also move over to marketing. Okay, marketing, as I told you before, is a very important section to work along with. So once we're over here, you can actually drive email campaigns. Okay. And these email campaigns work incredibly. So now that we're here in email campaigns, let's say I want to create a new campaign for an event that I want to run. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. Click on get started. Now, once we click on get started, here we have the campaign information. You can add in the different addresses if you want to for your footer. So let's say I'm going to add this. Now, once all of the links are in, you can choose what kind of content do you want. So if you have any events, you can add that event in this header. You can give it some type of specific subject, email header line. You can also change its styling. So if you want a dark mode, you want you can change it to that. You can also change the primary colors for all of that. And then finally, once your email is done, you can send test emails out to actually see if your email marketing is correctly working. But yeah, that is pretty much about it. That is how you can use Eventbrite for online events as easy as you want. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is going to be all from me and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.